is at uh, 53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at his upcoming port. Steady up. Uh, and that's how you basically know where missiles are coming from. Now, let's see what can you do about this. And we will talk about this little panel, your countermeasure panel. So it has two knobs that you can turn. And these uh, knobs will give you different types of countermeasures based on which mode you're using. So it can be an off, standby, manual, semi-auto, and auto. If you look up, you will see your shaft and flares. FL for flares, CH for shaft. And to your left, you see the switches for the uh, RWR and your jammer. You turn those on so you can see your enemy. Now your EWR or electronic warfare system works together with, so your ICP works together with your DD. So if you're just hearing these terms for the first time I recommend you to go back and watch all the other tutorials but um, to make things go faster, I'll just use the uh, abbreviations like ICP, DED, EWS, and all the good stuff. So we're going to go to work our EWS with your ICP. <clears throat> the way you do this is a little bit confusing, but once you do it once, you don't have to do it over. So basically, your EWS, Electronic Warfare System, has pre-programmed uh, sequences for your shaft and your flare. Now these program buttons have a table and each number has a specific task. So let me show you that table real quick. Now for the program knob, there is this table. It shows you what everyone does and explain each one of the four program sub modes that you can have it on one two three and four so if you hit it into manual you just hit number one or number two number three or number four so let me show you how number one will look outside shaft and flare key you see it's only dropping a set of shaft three at a time and it's showing three different sequences so it's, it's dropping three sequences of three shaft at a time now if you go manual again to number two it will do something different like this as soon as you hit the shaft key We'll go four and one shaft. So it will drop four flares and one shaft. Now if you go back in and hit number three, let's see what that does. Two shaft and no flare. And there they are. Now let's see the last one. Number four. And let's see what that one does. Two flare, two shaft, and it goes in three ways. But if you want in a specific amount of shaft flare, and the intervals between them you have to go up to your ICP and you hit your list button as soon as you hit your list button take a look at your DD this list will come up 
So it will show you destination, navigation, EWS, bingo. All those are different sub modes that you can go in. But we're just gonna go on that one. EWS, electronic warfare system. So you see it's number seven. It has a seven there. So you say number seven. And it will bring you to this screen. This is where you can set the amount of flare, the amount of shaft. You will go with them into sequence. As soon as you go into sequence, you can surf all the different screens. Go back to the first one, go to your chaff screen, your flare screen, and then go back to the main one. Keep in mind, you have to keep your mode knob on standby to make changes on your ICP. Now that you're back here on your mode knob, let's talk about them real quick. So we have your off standby. The standby is for you to go and access your ICP and make changes. Your manual, which is whatever you have program on your standby mode, will do it. Or if you have the program one, two, three, or four, it will do what you have programmed on those. And if you want to do the default, so they're already programmed. This semi auto button, it will launch uh, flares and chaff based on what you have programmed, but it will only do it when it, the radar detects that you are under attack or you're being detected by an enemy radar. So it will actually engage himself, and you will hear the computer calling Jammer, Jammer asking you to activate your jammer it won't do it for you you will have to do it manually so we have to go up and actually activate your jammer manually and your auto it will do everything for you based on the program that you have selected it will turn on your jammer and it will launch a series of shaft and flare to avoid uh, the specific threat that you have. Now let's go back up to your ICP and let's see what we can do on this screen. So once again your ICP has the switch in the middle called the data command switch. So with this one you will surf to the uh, DE sub pages so if you go back here with sequence if you put it on sequence you will surf the different pages the main one chaff and the flare now if you want to make changes to them you will do the same switch to go up or down you see it's changing and if you want to make a particular change you will go to the number so if you want to change this amount of chaff 10 with a 1 so you just go to 1 and back there you'll see it there's the 1 and then you hit enter right there and it will go down to the second one and flare 1 you go back same thing 1 and hit enter and there it goes. Now it jumps to your jammer, require jammer. You want to set it on. So you go to number one. Now it's on. And you hit enter. And now it's on. Now, to go to the second page, you go to your sequence. And now this is the chaff page. So let's program one real quick so you can see. Right now it has a three on it. So I'm going to want it to be a 1.